Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this special request RPG Maker Envy tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make your uh, enemies resurrect themselves uh, when they've died using Yanfly's Battle AI Core. This is a special request uh, RPG Maker Envy tutorial for Lord Jeebus 989 and he says, can you make a tutorial on how to use Yanfly's Battle AI Core plugin? I've tried using it to make an enemy revive, revive a dead enemy, but I couldn't get it to work. So this is what I've done. Um, it seems to be working. But there are some things that doesn't seem to be working. So I gave him this skill um, called Give Up the Girl, and I tried to, to, to call for it in here, and it, it wasn't really working. So I took that out. Um, th this is just scaling. This is enemy drops. But we're using uh, these note tags with uh, Yanfly's um, AI, uh, enemy AI core. So um, basically, here's two ways to... to uh, to, to revive a dead enemy um, we're giving us we're first thing we're doing is we're creating a skill and this skill is going to have an MP cost and it's going to be scope of one ally that the scope is important occasion would be battle screen a certain hit whatever animation you want uh, name description icon up to you but what we're going to be doing with this is calling for a common event because I tried to do uh, remove state death and it doesn't seem to work and maybe that's what you were trying to and you would think it would work but it doesn't um, so this is the workaround that I found. So you go to your common events, and you're going to create a common event called uh, whatever, revive or call henchman or whatever you want. And you're going to um, change enemy state. So you'll go over to tab 3, battle, change enemy state, and you're going to remove death from whatever troop number uh, or all troops. So we're removing death from the entire troop. And then we're adding uh, HP because it's going to remove the death state, but it's going to put them at 1 HP. So then you need to change enemy HP and award however much uh, HP you want them to get back. In this case, I've given them uh, 500, but it would be different for your, uh, for your game, of course. I wish there was a way <clears throat> to make it where you could award a percentage. Um, just there's, there's some functionality that if we did a script call, I'm sure it's possible, but this is a simple way to do it. So once you've made that uh, common event, you're going to go to your skills and award that common event in the effects. Uh, so you'll go over to the effects, go to other common event, and call upon that revive common event or call henchman. <clears throat> then you need to give that skill to your enemy. So um, just put it in as action patterns, and then we're referencing it. So what we're doing is we're starting with open brackets saying AI priority, then we're saying state is equal to one so one is going if we look at our states one will always be your knockout or death state so you shouldn't change this one always has to be the state that automatically happens when your uh, player or anything reaches zero uh, HP so there's two ways to call for this skill um, you can use state equals one uh, and then you name the skill off and then you just select a random or you can go troop dead members greater than zero then you name the skill off with a comma and you say highest attack power or highest magic attack power or highest whatever you want HP percent HP um, or even random here so after that um, I've got in his uh, battle AI um, state if he's not in state 17 then use the enraged skill on a random and since uh, the, the enraged skill is a self cast where is it at? Enrage. So it's scope of the user. So basically it's saying if the user is not in state 17, which is enraged, then enrage. So if he's not enraged, go enraged after that point. So first thing it checks is uh, are there any dead henchmen? Do I have enough MP to cast the spell? If so, revive them. Um, then if I'm not enraged, go enraged. And then a random percent underneath that random percent chance 40 percent of the time he's going to attack the lowest HP 40 percent of the time he's going to cast a lightning bolt 10 percent of the time he's going to do a double attack and 10 percent of the time he's going to do a dual attack and then we're closing it off with AI priority so let's take a look at this uh, AI core this script I've saved in a spot that's right before the the boss battle So he starts off by doing a lightning bolt, which is odd because I thought he would enrage first, right? Maybe because um, the, the random percent chance applies over all the other conditions. Or maybe we have to take things out of the... Um, 
out of the action priority or something. But see, the revive seems to be working fine. When something's dead, he always revives it unless he's out of MP. So now he's got about 360 or 70 MP left. So if we kill him, he should just keep reviving. I mean, that seems to be what he's doing. But you'll notice, look at the HP on this top one. It's going to heal the top one, too. It's another thing I haven't figured out how to work around. So if we, if we keep trying to kill this thing, this mercenary, until he's out of MP, he'll keep raising this. And I know the, the battle AI is working because it's got priority of 1 and I've got attack priority 5. So if it wasn't working, then it would never happen because it would have to be at least priority 3 to even be considered. So I guess the way to beat this boss is to make his uh, him, make him run out of MP. But I'm actually going to leave the script how it is. Um, the only thing that's not working the way that I want it to work is the enrage. Uh, I, I would imagine that it would enrage if he's not enraged. Uh, but I'm sure someone in the comments will let me know if, if they've come up with a better solution to this. So I think he's got... Uh, Maybe one more revive left in him, or call henchman, or that might have been his last one. We'll see if he starts attacking. Yeah, okay. So he's out of MP. He might have enough to do a lightning bolt, but he doesn't have a hundred to to call for more henchmen. So that's one way that you can uh, make your enemies revive uh, themselves, Lord Jeebus. And you can create custom skills for each enemy for each battle if you have to. I mean, a lot of them will will carry over. But um, you'll have to take into consideration what place they are in the troops. So let me show you that real quick before we end the video. Um, how you tell what troop number you want to, uh, to heal up with is if we were to get rid of all three of these, remove, remove, remove. The first thing that we add is going to be troop number one. So this is troop number one. And then now we're adding troop number two and troop number three. So when you... Uh, go to your common events and you have the heal HP and it's asking what number of troop we know that this is the general and these are the two mercenaries so and then you can do that for um, each battle if you have to so this would be more of like you want to script it for boss battles and stuff but uh, how you would handle it for every single battle it might be more work than it's worth um, but it's up to you it's your game and you can decide what's worth uh, putting your time into. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being awesome. Hopefully this was helpful. And if you have any comments about the Battle AI Core, um, leave them in the, the comments below. Um, you will need Yanfly's Core Engine. You will need uh, the Battle Engine Core. And you will need, uh, of course, the Battle AI Core. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much. And we will see you in the next tutorial. Remember, remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe.